WaveLab Pro 12 is here, and it's no exaggeration to say it is the most comprehensive update in WaveLab's history. With over 75 new features and improvements, you'll see enhancements in everything from editing and loudness management to workflow and productivity boosters and new mastering quality assurance features, plus much, much more. Let's take a look at some of the most notable additions and improvements. To improve and enhance your editing experience in WaveLab, VST3 ARA support has been added so that you can use the WaveLab editor in your favorite third-party DAW. To further improve third-party interoperability, copy and paste and drag and drop functionality between WaveLab and any other application has also been added, including copying with or without effects applied. There are also many improvements within WaveLab, such as the new rainbow waveform view, which is much more than just some eye candy. By customizing its frequency and color mapping, you can easily spot sibilance, calibration tones, overbearing low frequency events, and more. You'll also find improved crossfade behavior during audio editor operations to eliminate clicks and pops during difficult edits. New transient and release magnet markers along with tab to transient support. A new zoom to peak feature to automatically manage vertical scaling while zooming and editing quiet sections and new navigation synchronization features that can keep disparate audio editor and montage windows visually aligned. You'll also find significant updates to make loudness management even easier and more intuitive. New visual analysis tools have been added that can show you comprehensive visual readouts of every sort of loudness metric you could want, and can additionally autoplay hotspots for QC and validation. You can even analyze before and after the application of effects to see exactly how your processing is impacting measured loudness. A new loudness report feature has also been added and can capture nearly all of the same metrics shown in the visual analysis and print them to a report that you can include in your deliverables. With presets for services like Netflix and many more, this makes documenting compliance a breeze. We also all know how easy it is to be fooled by loudness during the mastering process. So to combat this, a new loudness matching feature has been integrated into WaveLab. By simply clicking one button, you can match the loudness of your montage output to a reference track or vice versa, see gain compensation values, and even auto update the compensation if it varies by more than a specified amount. There are also new loudness meta normalizer functions to help maintain interclip balances or apply peak level based normalization to a value of your choosing. In order to enhance the workflow and productivity abilities of WaveLab, the project and montage file structures have gotten a major overhaul. Now, WaveLab can automatically copy and manage any and all files used within a montage into its respective folder. This means you'll never have to worry about manually copying files into your session or that a file in an external location will go missing and break things. This overhaul also paves the way for new consolidation and backup features for both montage and project files. It's now easier than ever to copy all the external files into your session folder in just a few clicks, even if you didn't initially set things up that way. And when you're done with your session, you can just as easily create a self-contained or zipped backup. It's also now possible to hide and deactivate tracks with the new sideline feature. This not only allows you to clean up your montage visually, but also frees up CPU resources used by sideline tracks and prevents them from accidentally being included in any renders. When it comes to mastering, quality assurance is of utmost importance. To make this easier and more streamlined, WaveLab now includes many new features. A new null test track type can help you validate that renders match what you're hearing during playback spot differences in mix files, or track down any plugins that may be causing errors or problems. Of course, null testing requires sample level timing accuracy. So to assist with that, the clip alignment feature has been improved to automatically align two clips based on audio file correlation. A five-way linear phase output filter with user-definable crossover frequencies and slopes has also been added to make focusing on specific frequency ranges in your main and reference tracks even easier. Additionally, playback processing plugins can now be bound to specific speaker configurations, so you can apply different tuning curves, level compensation, or any other playback processing plugin to multiple sets of monitors, headphones, and more. With WaveLab's versatile ability to host plugins on clips, tracks, groups, or the montage output, it's also sometimes important to update the settings of multiple plugin instances in diverse locations. The new Replicate Settings button will show you all instances of a given plugin, 
and allow you to update as many of them as you'd like to match the settings of the Focus plugin in a single click. Of course, no release would be complete without new plugins, and WaveLab 12 includes six. We have Sample Align, a stereo or MS sample delay plugin, Black Valve, a new compressor based on a classic tube design, Vox Comp, a compressor specifically for vocal processing, Razor, a new limiter with unique release behavior and controls, and EQP1A and EQM5, two classic EQs that need no further introduction. Believe it or not, there are still over 50 other new features and improvements across the montage, audio editor, and batch processor, including specifics for content creation and enhanced productivity, but those will have to wait for another video. You can also check out the link in the description for a full list of new features and improvements to see how WaveLab Pro 12 can elevate your mastering workflow.